What's up guys? And yeah, we're back with another video and this video is going to be a very uh, important video, I will say, and a video that everybody can use who are doing uh, e-commerce. It doesn't matter if this is dropshipping or Amazon FBA, but I'm going to focus on dropshipping because this is something that we as entrepreneurs will deal with at some point. We're always going to experience, experience this as long as we sell products and that is um, when a product is, is is doing worse, when a product is declining and going down in sales and, and such. Um, so what should you actually do? That's what I want to talk about right now because it's something that is very, very um, valuable. Uh, so to start off with, I've made on my whiteboard. So guys, here you can see on my whiteboard, I have actually made the three points that I usually do and that, and these are the three points that have worked for me. Now I will say, um, it's not because I've had a million products yet, but I have all the products I've, I've done so far, I have experienced uh, some kind of decline. And, and I, I, at first I had no idea what to do, um, how should I fix this? Because you get stressed, like this is what, if, you, if, if you're not making sales, if, if your products start declining, man, you start thinking you're fucked. And at some point you will be, um, of course you're, you're not gonna be because you're gonna find a solution, but you know what I'm saying? like. When sales go down, your business go down, and and you know you're not an employee, so you you don't get paid by the hour. So it's very stressful for an entrepreneur and for somebody who's selling online. Um, but yeah, I've made the three points that I usually do. I'm gonna talk about them right now, so don't stress about it. And then we quickly go to uh, what now? Well, like what should you do if none of these work and you have to stop the ad set? So uh, guys, um, let's jump right into it. So yeah, whenever you experience a declining product, the first thing I would do is don't stress, don't rush, um, and wait a day or two. Like, see where the ad is going, because the, the ad, and that's just how it is with Facebook ads, they can change dramatically from profit to non-profit, like in a day. Usually it's declining, right? Um, so that's a positive, which is also why it can also go up again, because there's a lot of things that goes into an ad and a lot of parameters so just because it's going down now does mean in a day or two it will go up again it can be the day it can be that when you hit weekend again it's going to go up that's a lot of things right so first i was what i would do is I, is that i would wait a day or two see how the ad is going if it's uh, keep on declining then i would pause it and then go into to number two, which is I will go in, I will edit the ad and the ad copy. So I will simply go in, I will say, hey, can I fix this? Can I make it better? Can I make the, um, can I make the, um, both on Facebook ads and on product page? So first off, you can start with your ads because that's where the problem is because the page, your product page have been working so far. So go on to the Facebook ads. What can change? Can you change the, the text, the the deal. So instead of maybe saying it's 60%, can you maybe go down to 40% or something like that and promote it as free shipping as well or change something where it's more believable. Anything, uh, can you can you make a better video? Can you make a, a better picture? Or can you change from a picture to a video or from a video to a picture? Test, right? So, but pause it because it can take a day or two to make it perfect, so to speak. Uh, I, again, but I would pause it so it because right now it's just declining. No reason to to waste more money on it, especially if you're not profitable. Now, if it is declining and you're still profitable, keep on going uh, and change the ad and such. But when it starts to come to a point where it's break even, I will stop it, pause it. I will go in. I will edit the ad. Now, once you've edited the ad, you're gonna start it again by midnight, and then I will wait a day or two again, probably two. But again, you also have a budget to think about. But if you can wait two, I would say that will be perfect. Um, after two days, check how it is. Is it starting to go just a little bit up? It has it stopped declining, which is also good because if just keep on declining, you can stop it. It means you've done something positive. Um, so yeah, that will be the second thing I will do. I want to start uh, accelerating again. That's just great. And then you build from there. Again, I can make a video about sc scaling and such, but again, all my advice right now, I'm not going to say that is how it is. That's just what I am doing and what I'm planning to do with my further products again. Number three, if it's keep on declining and also after you've changed the ad and the ad copy, pause it, stop it. <clears throat> no reason. Again, don't have your feelings attached. It doesn't matter if you love the products, if you love your product to death, if it's declining, 
Uh, no, no, sorry. If it's not profitable and you're losing money uh, or it's break even for a long time, it just doesn't make any sense to put time into it. Stop it. Please get your feelings out of it. Stop the ad, kill it, kill the product, go into the next one. It's that simple. So, here's the big question. What now? What do you do now? You stop your ad and you are probably stressed at this point because your product that have been doing so great and you have been so hyped because you're actually making money now and you're like, you can see the future now. And then in a week or two, it starts to climb. You're like, oh, why? what do I do? What do you do? And then you think about, oh, does this really work? And then you start stressing. And that's something you're really going to have to be very careful about and uh, how you take care of that as an entrepreneur because you're going to stress every day. Not every day, but you're going to stress a lot because uh, depending on your performance is what you're going to make an income, right? Uh, so it's understandable. I do it all the time. And I'm getting better. I didn't get better controlling it because I know, hey, chill. We're going to fix this. So what do you do? what now this is where i think like this is the best advice i can give to you and this is an advice i got from uh, hayden bowles he i got it from him first and you know we are one of his youtube videos and i've just implemented it and it worked what do you do so your product is dead what do you do where you go for now are you going to do a lot of pre product research again and such what i would do is that now you already the product you're selling um Let's just say it's in electronics. It's headsets, right? Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually show you a product that I'm selling right now. Not boom. I'm selling these. I can make another video about these, but I'm doing great right now. Uh, we're talking five figures a month in a week or two, so in a week or so, so that's awesome. But let's say I'm selling those. Those are declining, which I have done actually. So again, I'm actually going to start implementing this and I'm already implementing it. And I'm going to document that as well. But let's start decline what I can do. The product is dead. Now, well, I'm, I'm, am I just stranded? No, man. Take advantage. Don't overthink. I have got a ton of data on that pair of heads right now. A ton of data. And I've got a great audience because that audience have actually bought over a long period of time as well as your product. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna take the audience that you already have created and then just promote an, another product to that audience, but it's gonna be a product within the same niche. So instead of these, I might gonna start selling um, an, a, a totally different a set of, of, of headphones that are unique for themselves because I know this audience is is, 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 is the audience that is working so might as well use the data you've already worked so hard for and then promote another product in the same niche now I'm not gonna even though it's electronics I'm not gonna go on and try to sell them some kind of um, uh, like um, smartwatch or anything that wouldn't make any sense it's still going to be within in this case the headphone niche um so you're not stranded at all get out of it but get back into it again with another product that's the best way you can actually do it you can go and you can create a custom audience as well on the um, audiences on your facebook ads uh, manager uh, or business manager Facebook business manager, you can go in and create a custom audience and promote to them. Um, like, that's literally, guys, do that one thing and you'll relax a, a lot more. Um, so yeah, guys, that's really it. Um, as you can see right now, so you got, wait and see, don't rush it, wait a day or two uh, and see where the ad is actually going. After that, uh, if it's still declining and you're making fewer and fewer on sales, um, if you're not making any money or it's break even, pause it, go in, edit the ad, edit the ad set, the ad copy, picture, video, whatever. See if you can just improve it. Let it run again for a day or two. If this doesn't work, then just stop it, pause it, and move on. And then use the technique that you can use all the pixel, all the data, or the audience that is actually working, that is buying from you to promote a different product that's in the same niche and same uh, specific niche uh, that's unique for yourself. And then, guys... Because don't forget all the data you make. That's that's gold. Um, so nothing is is, is is worthless. Nothing is a waste of time. Because you, now you've got the data too. So stop this product. Get away with it. Don't, doesn't matter. You don't need this millions of product out there. Then get a product in the same niche. In the same specific niche. That's unique for itself. And promote it to the exact same audience. And you will see results immediately. I promise you that. Um, I think that's it right now guys. Um...
I've been super excited to make this video. I haven't been able to wait to make this video because it's something that's really helped me and I know it's going to help you because it's one of the things that probably one of the biggest things that's stressing out entrepreneurs. Um, if it's a product, if it's a cause, is it anything else where it's just declining because you get stressed what you do, how could I change this? Um, so yeah, this is one of the possibilities, one of the things that I, I love a lot. Use custom audiences when you're, when you're going to sell another product. So guys, I think that's it for right now. I'm going to make a, a brand new video tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, thank you very much for, for, for seeing, watching this video. My Instagram is going to be down below. You can DM me anything and please do like, subscribe. Do like, comment and subscribe. That will mean the world to me. Until then, see you next time, guys.